How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a new team. We have an Iron Jugglist team. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste of the team in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump to the team preview. Okay, today we're battling versus Champion Brayden from the Discord server, but he's also a big TikTok star. So go follow his TikTok channel. I'll leave a, le a link to that in the description down below. Uh, looking at his team though, he's got the Iron Valiant, the King Gambit, the uh, Dragonite, Cinderace, Dondozo and the Clodzire. Pretty powerful looking team. It's going to be hard to break through that team. That's, that's for sure. So um, looking at the matchup, they probably want to lead off with the Clodzire to get the Stealth Rocks up and stuff like that. So I might just lead off with my Dragapult. I think Dragapult's a sound lead anyway. Um, the only thing that can really counteract my Dragapult lead is if they lead off with their Iron Valiant and its Booster Energy Speed or Choice Scarf and the King Gambit with its Sucker Punch. So I think we should be good. And the battle begins, so Brayden over there is going to lead off with the Iron Valiant. Oh, nice and shiny. Look at that beauty as we lead off with the Dragapult. So the Dragapult's not the worst lead in the world here. We could terrestrialize into a ghost type and smack this thing in the face real quick and get the KO. Um, expecting a Moonblast, but I think we're probably better off switching out. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into... Because we haven't seen Booster Energy pop, so it's probably Choice Scarf, right? So I'm going to go into my Rotom right now. Um, my Rotom is specially defensive. It's, it can take Moonblast from this thing, no problem, provided they're not Specs. There we go. We're going to withdraw our uh, Jin Lycan Row, our Dragapult, and we're going to go into our Rotom Wash, aka Bosch, um, just because why not. They go for a Moonblast. We should be able to tank this. It's a 2 hit KO, which means they are probably Specs, um, which is bad because it means we haven't really got a very good switch in anymore. Um, Rotom was a good switch in if it was Scarf, but that's definitely Specs damage if I had to say so. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to my Volcarona now. Volcarona can take a hit, no problem. They actually are going to withdraw their Iron Valiant. What are they going to go into though? That's the real question. They go into Clodzire, that's fair enough. Clodzire is a good one. I could have been Scarf Rotom to be fair, so you never know. No, no they saw the leftovers, so they knew it wasn't Scarf Rotom, but... Um, yeah, the Moonblast wasn't a definite k 2 a KO after the leftovers, so that makes sense. So I went to the Moth, expecting another Moonblast. Um, they ended up going to Clodzire. That's absolutely fair enough. I'm going to go into Dragapult now. Uh, Dragapult can definitely 2 it KO Clodzire with the Dragon Darts. Um, that's not a problem whatsoever. It just depends on what the Clodzire wants to do here. Um, whether it wants to go for Stealth Rocks or whatever. They go for a Toxic. Makes sense. And look at its horns. Why are the horns out? That's weird. That's weird, that is. It's weird that the horns are out. So anyway, um, it looks pretty cool, though. Looks pretty cool, that's for sure. So they have put our, um, a Dragon Ball on a timer with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the uh, U-turn here, expecting them to switch out. Um, they probably go into the King Gambit, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out real quick into something else. They are going to withdraw the Clod's Eye, not wanting to take a Dragon Arts to the face, Choice Banded, of course. And they're going to go into the Iron Valiant, which makes sense, it's immune to Dragon, all that wonderful stuff. So if this, if this thing's Choice Specs, I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out, and I'm going to go into my... Um, Volcarona real quick. Oh, have we got a better option here? Have we got a better option? Look how small Iron Valiant is as well. It's crazy small. So, um, we could go into our Pelipper, get the rain up. That's an option. Um, I kind of want to put Damp Rock on this instead of Leftovers, to be honest with you, but it's whatever. I think going into Volcarona is probably the best option, just because we're going to be able to get some damage off on the Clodzire, regardless of what kind of damage it is. Um, I'm going to go Volcarona again. I'm going to go Volcarona. So, we'll go Volcarona real quick. Mothra over here and um, we can probably expect to switch back into Clodzire. So I'm going to go back out into my Dragapult, I think. No, I I'm going to stay in and just attack and see what they're going to do. Let's see what kind of plays they're going to be making. They go for a Psy Shock. That's going to hurt. It's Choice Specs. It's not a two hit. It is not a uh, one hit KO at all as we're able to go for a Fiery Dance now and hopefully get the KO on this thing. We nearly get the KO. Nearly get the KO. Absolutely amazing work by Volcarona right there. So knowing they're locked into, um, into Psy Shock, I'm going to go into Robo Love real quick. Um, they're probably going to stay in to try and get the KO, which makes sense. As there we go, we're going to withdraw our Volcarona. We'll go into the Iron Love, the Robot Love, um, the Iron Jugulus. Nice and shiny. I love how the shiny looks with this texture pack. So they go for a Psy Shock, of course. It's not going to affect us because we're a Dark type. Um, we know they're locked in. Um, I'm going to go for a U-turn. It should KO the Iron Valiant. And also that um, they're probably going to switch out into Clodzire. So makes sense. There we go. Going to withdraw the Iron Valiant. Are they going to go into Clodzire? They go into Clodzire. Perfect. That works for me. We can get a bit of chip damage off with the U-turn, which is great. As there we go. Go for the U-turn. A nice little chip damage. It's going to get restored by its black black sludge slash leftovers, whichever one it's got. 
um, but it's fine. We can go into our Great Tusk now. No, we don't want to go in Great Tusk because we don't want to pop the booster energy right there, though, do we? So I think we go into our um, Dragapult. I think that's the best option to go for, Dragapult. So we're going to Dragapult real quick because um, why not? They're going to recover their health with a Black Sludge, which tells me that they're not going to be Trashalizing this Clodzire because if they Trashalized it into anything other than Poison type, the Black Sludge would actually hurt it. So it's something you got to watch out for when you're using these sets. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and go for another... Am I going to go for a U-turn again, expecting the switch, or do they stay in? Do I Trashalize into a Ghost type and go for a Terror Blast? I'm not going to Trashalize anything else on the team, as far as I can tell. So yeah, I think we go for a Trashalization into a Ghost type. So they do withdraw the Clod's Eye. What are they going to go into to take an um, attack here? Dondozo. Let's see how well Dondozo takes this attack. Let's see how, how well it takes this attack. So we're going to Trashalize into a Ghost type. This gives us two times stab on our ghost type moves and it also gives us the powerful terror blast as an attacking move for ghost type um, on the physical side we're also choice banded which is not affected by unaware um, so this should do a decent chunk of damage to this dondozo no problems there so let's go for the terror blast as so there we go go for the terror blast it should do a decent chunk of damage it does it's a good good damage right there good damage so they probably are inclined to not stay in here and probably go into the bishop uh, the, the king gambit sorry um i personally wouldn't stay in here because obviously you're getting free at ko by that thing um but i'm gonna go into my pelipper anyway just to get the rain up and that way we can start spamming some hurricanes at this thing there we go we're gonna withdraw our dragapult and we're gonna go into our pelipper let's see if they switched out as well I don't think they would switch out. I, I, I know they go straight for the attacking move because Wave Crash should definitely finish off Dragapult from there. Um, they go for a Liquidation. That's also probably would have taken us out as well. Not going to take out Pelipper though. No way you're going to take out Pelipper. Not not one one bit. Not one bit whatsoever. Um, so, uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and go for a U-turn. We probably expect a Clodzire switch here. Um, if the Clodzire is Water Absorb maybe, um, it might want to come in on this. Uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn expecting them to switch out. They do withdraw the Dondozo, they don't want to get hit by that Hurricane, and they're going to go into their Clodzire, which is great for us, because it means we can bring back the Dragapult and go for a, a solid attack here. So, um, U-turn comes through, that's going to bring us back out into our Dragapult. Um, Dragapult's main job here is to just break through these walls, um, which is doing a really good job at the moment. So, we'll go into Jin Lycanro, um, the Dragapult, with his massive hat on his head, which is really cool. I love the hats. I think that I think the hats are really cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just think they're really cool. So um, we probably go for a U-turn here. They might expect a U-turn and decide to sell up the hazards. Um, so I'm going to go for a Dragon Darts now. Um, I really think they're going to stay in this turn for some reason. They are going to withdraw the Clods Eye. What are they going to go into there? Are well, they going to go into the King Gambit this time? They go into the King Gambit. Makes sense. King Gambit's a good switch. Um, it's going to go ahead and get some Dragon Dars damage, which is going to do some decent little bit of chip damage. And this is going to also tell us whether it's leftovers or not. And we also saw it's not Supreme Overlord. It's actually a um, a, um, a Defiant version or an Inner Focus, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what he's going to do there. So I'm going to go to my ultimate switch here, which is going to be the Great Tusk. Um, Great Tusk can come in on this thing, no problem whatsoever. Great Tusk actually does a really good job against the rest of their team right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go into it. I'm not seeing a hazard. No, wait, no, no, no. Cinderace gets caught change. So we've got to be careful about setting up Stealth Rocks. Um, we don't necessarily need the Stealth Rocks to win this game. Stealth Rocks would be nice for the likes of the Dragonite. But um, we are a physically defensive uh, Great Tusk. Um, so they're going to withdraw the King Gambit, expecting us to switch into this thing more than likely. And they're going to go into the Iron Valiant, which makes a lot of sense. Iron Valiant coming in makes a lot of sense here. So um, what we can do now is... Uh, what do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do? I don't know. I have no idea what to do here. So, um, our special attackers are pretty useless right now. If we expect a Moonblast, they probably go for a Moonblast, right? So we could go into Volcarona, and if we lose the Volcarona, it's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We're going to withdraw our Great Tusk. We're going to go into the Moth, the Volcarona. Um, and hopefully... We see a Moonblast here. We do see a Moonblast. Is it going to two-shot us? It does two-shot us, unfortunately. I did kind of expect that, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, we could easily be Choice Scarf for all they know. We could be Choice Scarf for all they know. So they might switch out here, but I doubt it. I think they're just going to go and finish me off with a Fiery Dance, as they do. Go for the Moonblast and finish us off. Uh, unfortunately, Volcarona didn't get to do much this game, but 
I mean, he did take the Iron Valiant down to like really low HP, so I guess that's something, right? That's something, at least it's something. So I'm going to go into my Robo Love. Um, Robo Love is terrestrializing steel with flash cannon, but obviously we can't terrestrialize on this particular set right now. So I'm going to go into it anyway, and I'm going to go straight for that Dark Pulse. Um, I think Dark Pulse is a solid one. Or we can go straight for a U turn. U turn okay with the Iron Valiant, no problem. So um, he's probably realized we're Choice Scarf by this time. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the. Do I go for the Dark Pulse? The uh, U turn again. If we go for U turn, it doesn't KO. Then we're kind of screwed because we have to switch something else and take a Moon Blast. I think we go for a Dark Pulse here and take this thing out. As they do withdraw the Iron Valiant, what are they going to go into? Are they going to go into the uh, Clodzire? Clodzire comes in. We're getting chip damage off on the Clodzire, which is always important. So uh, this should be fine. Does a decent chunk of damage to it as they're able to get some Black Sludge recovery, of course. So um, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to expect a Toxic again. and I'm going to go back into my Dragapult. I think that's the optimal play. So yeah, we're going to withdraw our Robo Love. Um, and we're going to go into Dragapult expecting a Toxic of some kind. I'm fully expecting a Toxic, but they could go for something else. They do go for the Toxic. Not going to work, I'm afraid, as we bring the Dragapult in. who's already Toxic, so that's absolutely fine. That's a fine play on my behalf, if I do say so myself. As uh, this turn, we can probably expect them to switch out. So I'm going to go for a U-turn, I think. Um, if we go for the U-turn and they don't switch out, then we have a good switch in being the... No, let's go for a Terra Blast. Let's just go for a Terra Blast. They, they, they probably don't switch out this turn, right? They, they do withdraw. Are they going to go Bishop, King Gambit? Um, either way, we're getting some damage off. So they actually go into Don Dozo, which is a good one. Um, Don Dozo is a good switch there. Terra Blast comes through. That's going to do some solid damage to the Don Dozo. Should 2 it KO from here, right? Nearly. Nearly 2 it KOs from here. So... We're in a bit of a pickle. We're in a bit of a pickle. We're in a bit of a pickle. And the reason we're in a bit of a pickle is because Ly uh, uh, Rock, whatever you call it, is on a timer. Um, I think I'm going to go Pelipper again this turn. They might anticipate the Pelipper switch, but if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. I'm also debating whether to go into Great Tusk to get the Stealth Rocks up, because Stealth Rocks would be great for wearing down the Iron Valiant. Um, but we have to be aware the Cinderace can easily come in and court change on us, so we've got to be careful of that. However, a lot of the Pokemon on our team are, deal with Cinderace pretty well, so it might be it might be a bit risky for them to do that. So, with that in mind, let's go for the Pelipper switch. There we go, going to withdraw Dragapult. We're going to go into Pelipper real quick, get the rain up, which is going to be great. Um, and we'll just go from there, really. So, get the Drizzle up real quick. There we go. As this thing's going to go for a rest. Makes sense. Go for the rest. Get your uh, health back up to the top. Really makes sense to me. It's annoying. Because this Dondoza is really hard to break through. Really hard to break through. I think this is going to come down to the timer, to be honest with you. I really think this is going to come down to the timer, to be honest with you. Because we're, we're both kind of sitting here. Um, not looking too bad each. Uh, I think I go for a hurricane here. I think they stay in and attack. Uh, go for a sleep talk to try and burn off a sleep turn. They do withdraw the Dondozo. Are they going to go into the King Gambit or are they going to go into the Clodzire? They go into the Clodzire. Makes sense. Especially defensive AF. We go for the Hurricane. It's going to do a decent little chunk of damage to it, but not quite enough as we don't even get the Confusion, which is unfortunate. But what can you do about that? What can you do? What can you do? So um, the reason I'm playing OU, by the way, instead of U, is because they just recently banned Chiyu and Annihilate and Cyclozar. So I kind of was interested to see how the metagame was without it, without those Pokemon. Um, I'm now debating whether to go for a Surf or not. Would this thing be unaware? Is it an unaware combo duo? Or what? I don't know. Um, we could always try it. I mean, we don't really lose anything from trying it. Screw it. Let's try it. Let's see how much damage we're talking here. So we go for the Surf. They turn out to be Water Absorb. Not unaware. And they go for the Stealth Rocks. Makes sense. Now we're in a, we're in a good position now. Because now we can definitely go into the Great Tusk and get our Stealth Rocks up. And they can't Court Change anymore because Stealth Rocks are up on our side of the field. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into Great Tusk real quick. There we go. Great Tusk comes through. They probably go for a Toxic this turn, expecting us to switch into the Great Tusk. But, you know, it's fine. I don't really mind too much um, as Point Stones are going to dig in. They go for a Toxic, a.k.a. Cancer Move. Um... <laughs> I love how Great Tusk is really furry as well. That's pretty awesome. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway, 
Um, we'll go for a Stealth Rocks anyway, get their Stealth Rocks up on their side of the field. I think that's the ideal play to go for, to be honest with you. I think they expect either a Rapid Spin or a Stealth Rock here, so they probably won't switch it to Iron Valiant straight up. But they do withdraw, and they're going to switch out into what, Don Dozo? Don Dozo comes in, that's fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. Stealth Rocks are going to come through, and that's going to do some damage to the Iron Valiant if they switch in. Now, as much as I would like to go for a Rapid Spin, I'm kind of debating whether or not it's a good idea. Um, personally, I think it is a good idea. I think it is a good idea. I think going for a knockoff as well is a good idea. I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin and just get them away from us. There we go. We go for a Rapid Spin. We get rid of those Stealth Rocks real quick. We get a crit, which is really nice. Does a nice little bit of chip damage to them. Um, as it's going to get rid of them pointed stones as well. They're going to be fast asleep this turn, of course. But they're going to go for a sleep talk more than likely. Um, as they do go for the sleep talk. And what's that going to give them? What, what are they going to get from the sleep talk? They get a body press off. Does decent nothing, really. Does no damage at all. Because <laughs> we're a fiddly defensive Great Tusk. And he's got absurd defense and HP. Absurd defense and HP Great Tusk has. So, um... Toxic's obviously whittling us down, though. So we have to be wary of that. So let's go ahead and switch out. Um, I'm going to go into my Rotom. I think Rotom's a good switch. Or we can go Robo Love. I think Rotom's a good switch, though. Yeah, let's go Robo Love. We'll go, we'll go ahead and switch out. We'll go into our um, Iron Juglis. I think that's the best way to go about this. So we're going to Iron Juglis real quick. There we go. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. They're going to go ahead and be fast asleep. Makes sense to me. As they're going to go for a sleep talk, of course. And what are they going to get from the sleep talk? They're going to get a rest again, which is unfortunate for them because it's going to fail, obviously. Um, but however, the next turn that they go for an attack, they'll actually wake up. So they're going to be back to um, being awakened at full HP. So that's unfortunate. But what can you do? Um, I'm going to go for a hurricane here just to get some damage off. And also because it'll do a decent chunk of damage to the Clodzire as well, based on the hurricane damage from Pelipper earlier. Provided we can hit it, of course. So in comes Clodzire. Clodzire is a good one, of course. Um, we go ahead and go for the Hurricane. We do hit the Hurricane, which is nice. As that's going to do a solid chunk of damage to the Clodzire, which is great. So um, we probably see a Toxic here or an Earthquake expecting the Dragapult. So I'm going to go for a Hurricane again just to see what they're going to do. There we go. Go for another Hurricane. Decent chunk of damage. We get a critical hit, which is amazing. As they go for an EQ, expecting the Dragapult to come in, which makes sense. So that's absolutely perfect. That's worked out really nicely for us. So the crit, the crit there is going to help so much. Let's go for another Hurricane and see what's going to happen here. Hurricane comes through. We hit the Hurricane three times in a row. Amazing hacks on our behalf as the Clodzire does go down, which is fan bloody tastic. I'm so glad that thing's gone. So glad that thing's gone. In comes the Dragonite. So Dragonite's obviously a big threat here. Um, we probably expect a Dragon Dance here. Um, probably expect a Dragon Dance here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Great Tusk. And I'm going to knock this thing off, I think. So we'll go into the Great Tusk real quick. And I'm going to go for a knockoff to get rid of its item. It's got heavy duty boots. You can tell, by the way, the Stealth Rock didn't do any damage. So it's going to be a great game for a knockoff off on this thing. So we'll go into Tuscany real quick. They go for a Dragon Dance. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me, absolutely, um, as uh, we are in a bit of a pickle now because I'm pretty sure we can take a hit from this thing, no problem. Um, we can definitely take an Ice Spinner. So we should go for a knockoff real quick. That'd be absolutely amazing. They go for a Dragon Claw. We're going to eat that up. Love it. As we can go for a knockoff now and break that multi-scale as well. We get a crit knockoff, which is amazing. Going to knock off those heavy duty boots. As then we're going to go down to the toxic, unfortunately. So we did lose Great Tusk there, but... I mean, what else can I do? It's a Dragon Dance Dragonite. It's a, it's a big threat. It's a big threat, okay? It's a very big threat. So we'll go into Pelipper now. And the reason I'm going into Pelipper is to get the rain up. So that we can come in with the Iron Jugglist and revenge kill this thing. Um, after it's done its um, business to us. So... Going to go ahead and go for a, uh, a U-turn, expecting them to attack us. Time has run out and the battle is over. That's, that was, a, unfortunately, the timer was all... all the, this is a prime example of why the timer needs to be changed, because we're at four and five. But it was a brilliant battle anyway. There was a lot of back and forths. Uh, I think Braden probably won that in the end, but it's a real shame about the timer and everything like that. But what can you do? Leave a dislike if you dislike the timer. Like, seriously, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.